personal injury court. This is the matter of Jimenez versus Sullivan. Ms. Jimenez, your daughter Alma, my understanding is you filed this lawsuit for medical expenses in the amount of $35,000, pain and suffering in the amount of $150,000 for a total of $185,000 for injuries that your daughter suffered when she fell off a platform at Ms. Sullivan's dress shop. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Sullivan, yes, you don't think this is your fault. You think, frankly, this is their fault, true? Yes, Your Honor. All right, well, let's get into the legal sauce. Ms. Jimenez, tell me how we got here. Well, Your Honor, ever since the day my baby Alma was born, I've been planning a quinceañera. She's my only daughter, and when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't get to have one. And I don't know if you're familiar with a quinceañera, but it's a celebration. Yes, ma'am. Right? A 15th birthday, like a sweet 16 yes, or a bar mitzvah. I've been to a couple of them, so it's quite a festive occasion. So you understand, right? It's a big to-do. I mean, we had the venue, we had the limo, the catering service, everything was done to the nines for my baby girl, my only daughter. Is it fair to say that, and if I mess it up, it's a quincera? Quinceañera. Quinceañera. Quinceañera, correct. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's basically a coming out. Yes. It is. It is. It's her debut. Now, Miss Sullivan, you've done a number of these, right? Absolutely, Your Honor, yes. In terms of preparing dresses and how you appreciate how big this is, right? Absolutely. That's what our boutique uh, shop does. It, it specializes in quinceañeras. And, yes. and everybody's pretty excited because this is a one time incident, isn't Very it? Very much so. Very much so. Now, Ms. Jimenez, tell me what happened. Well, we were done with the, everything that we needed to do to prep for her quinceañera. This was the last tick we had to check off the to-do list. The final fitting of the dress. Now, I see a dress in our yes. courtroom. This, this is, say it one more time and I'll get it. Quinceañera. Quinceañera. Yeah, there you go. Quinceañera. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that tonight in my sleep. <laughs> okay. This is the dress that you had picked out for your daughter. Well, that's, it's similar to the dress. The but same the glamour. Same color, yes. The, the same bling, yes. right? And her favorite color, that blue, I mean, that was, it was all she drew it out. So the blue had little. purpose. It did. Yeah. It right? Did. You picked Especially the blue because you wanted did. to wear blue. She did. Look, and there she is. She looked beautiful. The, look how beautiful that wow. dress looked on her. You look Amazing. so happy, Alma. I was so happy. Was, was this your dream dress? It was. It was the color I wanted ever since I can remember. It's the color we always talked about. Yep. So you're at Miss Sullivan's shop and you're getting the dress altered. What happened? So we're there, we're in the fitting room, and so Alma gets up on that platform, the platform that's sitting right there. And she's posing, we're taking pictures, you know, doing the selfie kind of thing, just so, so she could share with her friends and we could share with our family. Y'all just having a good time yeah. being happy. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, this is, again, we're approaching the Sullivan, day of the thing. Do you yeah. remember this Look, happy day? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I remember it uh, just a little bit more difficult than that. Uh, by by but difficult, yes. what do you mean? Well, uh, Mrs. Jimenez was a bit difficult to, to work with. and You, you sound like you're dancing demanding. with the words. She was very demanding. Yeah, she might have been a, a B word. <laughs> now, now I'm, sure, I'm sure what that meant was Mama Bear. Absolutely. <laughs> this, is, this is my daughter's day. I want it to be perfect. She was a little bit more difficult than we've ever had But you before. keep saying difficult. Tell me, what does difficult oh, mean? I need to get there. extremely demanding. And Give me an example. not very willing to listen to instruction about being on Alma the platform. Alma or, or Miss Jimenez? Um, Alma. And, and Miss Jimenez as well. I was trying to get her to not be dancing around on the platform. Your Honor, this now, is now a special you... occasion. Uh, we are happy, we're excited. But are we Menez. supposed to stand there stiff like mummies? Well, you're trying to get anything? the hem done, all right? Well, the problem is, is it's a, it's a small platform and the platform is strictly designed for the, the young lady to stand up there so that we can do the alterations and then step down after the alterations have been so, done so, and she could do her dancing there. So you needed them to stay still? Yes. Now, Miss Jimenez, how did your daughter get hurt? I see the crutches. How did she get hurt? So, Your Honor, they did all the alterations. So, she proceeds to step off the front of that platform, and you see how huge that dress is. Yes, ma'am. She proceeds to step off the front, 
I now, you, might... you admit that y'all were moving around, having a good time. Of course, Your Honor, we were having a good... We were celebrating. This was the last thing we needed to there check off our playing. list. playing. My favorite song came on. I mean, it was... It really was just... It was innocent fun. So you're it dancing like... around, you're having a good time. Yes, sir. She's about to step off the platform, and then what happens? And then she falls to the ground, Your Honor. She falls to the ground. I hear her screaming. My leg, my leg, I run over to see what was going on with her. I'm sorry, because this is just, this is very traumatic for me, just remembering back to that day. It's a big deal for any parent it's to so, see a child hurt. sitting there on the floor, I'm screaming. I'm like, are you okay? I, I don't know what is going on with her. You felt pretty helpless. I did. You, you uh, discovered later that your daughter broke her leg. I did. As, as reflected in the medical records that you yes, all submitted. Yes, sir. So after all that, the paramedics come and they told me that she broke her leg. Now, Ms. Sullivan, you were there that day. Uh, I, yes, I remember the incident. What was going through your head when a young lady gets horribly injured at your well, place? Well, it, it's devastating for me. I have a 15-year-old child as well. This has never happened in our boutique. I'm a mother. I, I had a quinceanera. I know what this is about. And it, it was terrifying for me as well. This has never happened in our boutique. My family has run this boutique for 30 years. But you yes, weren't there. Me, personally, you were not there I when this happened. My daughter is still years. in pain. Ms. Jimenez. Okay. Still in pain. I had stepped out for a moment. So, Ms. Jimenez, you talked about your daughter falling on the floor. What, what are the nature of all of her injuries? So, she broke her tibia, her left tibia. She was in the hospital a couple of days. Um, and she's still in the boot, as you can see. And the pain was horrible, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. She's still in pain. She, I mean, this ruined our whole event. This leg still hurts, Oma? It does, it yes. Does. It does. And, Your Honor, I do have the x-rays and the doctor's bills and stuff if you need that. Sheriff Matt, if you'll retrieve the folder. Thank you, Ms. Jimenez. I'm sorry, I'm just upset. There, there just uh, can be no greater parental pain than when your child is hurt. You feel helpless. Mm -hmm. I see medical bills here in the amount of $35,000. Yes, sir. There also is an x-ray here. Let's take a look at the monitor. Whoa. What are we looking at, Ms. Jimenez? Well, that's, that's her left tibia broken. My baby cannot do the things that she used to do. Her cheerleading. The homecoming dance. Everything. A lot Even of things altered by this. Yes. yes her whole life. She has to walk around in crutches on her special day. So, Alma, you were in a boot on this special day? In a dress? Yes, Your Honor. This was the moment that my mom and I had been planning ever since I can remember. <laughs> with a big, beautiful dress. And I didn't even get that. I had to wear my second choice, what? the pink. How, how did you dance? How did you I celebrate? I couldn't. The boot was in the way. I couldn't have my special da dad daughter dance. I couldn't dance with the boy I liked. I couldn't even dance with my friends. Even taking the photos was so hard because I had this humongous boot and the dress. And I mean, you are beautiful, even with a boot. Thank even you. Even with a boot, that's a beautiful dress. But it I'll never get that back, and it won't be how we planned. Oh. This platform here, Ms. Sullivan, yes. is this the That's platform a... from your store? Uh, yes, sir. Matt, would you uh, put your arms around that dress and uh, move it off the platform? If you'll notice, Judge, it actually has a sign, signs on both steps that say, watch your step. And were those signs there on that day? Absolutely. They're never off. Is this the platform that your daughter was on that yes, day? Yes, sir. That tiny little thing is the platform. Yes, sir. Not a whole lot of space to celebrate, right? Yeah. Asking her to pose as well. But you got on that platform with your daughter. Yes, sir. And uh, mm -hmm. that was the party space, at least at the dress shop. It was. Do you see why, though, that Miss Sullivan or her employees would be nervous about y'all celebrating? Yeah, on I the... do, but she was yes. not present. She should have been present when my daughter was still trying on the dress. Honor, at the time I... that she fell, she was not there. We're always busy. I stepped out for two seconds just to uh, answer a question. I heard the scream and I came running. I asked Magna to call 911 to get to get attention to her. Miss Sullivan, you referred to Magna. That's Miss Perez Ms. who's sitting here with you, right? Correct. Yes. Maybe Miss Perez, you could step up to the podium. I'd like to hear from you. You were there that day, right? Yes, sir. And tell me what you remember. 
I hem and fit all the dresses. Okay. And when the girls come, they come up on the platform, and that's where I take the measurements. And I always tell them to be careful. And you did that so this my, day. You yes, told sir, Alma to the plaintiff's daughter be careful. be careful to watch her steps. Did you say anything to her mother, Miss Jimenez? I said, ma'am, will you please, you know, keep eye on her or, you know, make sure that she don't no. fall. You, you were concerned about her actually stepping off the yes, platform. Yes, because she was too jiggly, like too much. And I could not take measurement of her mom insisting of, oh, look this way, oh, look that way. So, so when she fell, it was right in front of you. Well, actually, no, I stepped away. I was with another customer. So no one was with her when she's on this platform? Exactly. Except her, her mom? Mother. Exactly. So let me get this straight, Ms. Jimenez. Yes. You believe it's their fault because Absolutely. they didn't stay there and no, hold your daughter's hand? Nope, there's something else, Your Honor. What else is that? Well, in order to get the right measurements, you have to have the right pair of shoes. Okay. And so... Makes sense. They gave my daughter shoes that were entirely too big, two sizes at least too big for her feet. Okay? Why, why does that so, make a difference? Oh, that makes goodness. a difference because I wanted my daughter to be wearing four-inch heels. She needed the right heels for that day, and those shoes were too big for her feet. Why didn't she that bring her is, own? No, no, Your Honor. The... <laughs> exactly. So... The shop usually supplies those things. I knew she was going to bring this up. So okay. I've actually brought the shoes that we recommend. These shoes? The shoes that we recommended that she get are two-inch heels. Because typically... Why do you recommend two-inch two heels? Because typically, a 15-year-old is just learning how to wear high heels. Your Honor. They don't know how to wear them normally. Your Honor, how does she so know so what we don't, knows we and doesn't don't, know? So, Ms. Sullivan, did you offer this shoe with two-inch heels in her the correct size, size though? Absolutely. everything... In the correct this size? This is her correct size right here. Were you and your daughter offered two-inch heels the correct size? Yes, those ugly shoes, yes. We were all for those. This is the shoe she wanted her yes. to wear. Okay. This young girl is learning how to wear high heels. It's a this platform, Your Honor. I'm wearing them now. That's that, really like I mean, a three-inch heel. And it's a spike heel. I want to see those shoes, and I'm not going to ask you to try them on. <laughs> she demanded that we put, we give her that shoe. We put that shoe on her daughter. This is the shoe your daughter was wearing? It was. And it was too big? And that was too big, and she, that's why she fell off the Is platform. it fair to say this heel's too high for a 15-year-old? No, sir. That thing is slippery, no, no. and those shoes were too big for my daughter's feet. That's why she fell off. Ms. Sullivan, your we... folks had to know the shoe was the wrong size. Absolutely. Exactly. We told her that the shoe was the wrong size. Your Honor, I do she not recall that. She still wanted it. What, what was she her response? She demanded that we put that shoe on her daughter. Alma, were you concerned when uh, they put this shoe on you? I was, because I thought they would have my size. That was the shoe I wanted. And but I had practiced at home with other ones that were the similar height. Did it feel wobbly? It did, did but you, I trusted her. Did you her. tell them? I did. So when she tells you she's feeling wobbly, y'all keep the shoes on? I told her to take, that we shouldn't put it on to begin with. And that her mother demanded that we put it on. I have to, I'm trying to provide the best customer service and, and give the And how are we supposed to get the measurements without the right shoes? So, so, Ms. Jimenez. Yes, If sir. you demanded that they put on the wrong shoe, it was so that you get the hem right, right? Correct. To, to match the shoes that we already bought for her for that day. How do you get the hem right if you're moving around? Well, that was... That, what, that happened after, though. That... Yeah. I think I've heard enough, and I'm ready to make a decision. In every personal injury case, there are three elements. You all must prove that Ms. Sullivan was wrong and that her wrong caused Alma's injuries. Here, there's a little bit to go around. Ms. Jimenez, you were a mama bear, yes. a wonderful mom that obviously got in the way of uh, the effort to try to hem the dress. Ms. Sullivan says she and her employees tried to talk to you about it. Uh, I do understand these celebratory once-in-a-lifetime moments and why that was so important. Ms. Jimenez, on behalf of your daughter, you are suing for $35,000 in medical expenses and $150,000 for her pain and suffering. That's a total of $185,000. The law requires me to factor in your involvement in this. Ms. Jimenez, you are responsible for your daughter's injuries. 
but you're not the only one responsible. Miss Sullivan, y'all left her alone. You gave her the wrong shoes and she fell. She stepped off this platform and hurt herself very badly. Considering the comparative fault as the law requires, I do find the fault on both sides. You're 49% responsible. That's why I've reduced what you seek and I find in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $94,350. That you, is Honor. my final Thank judgment. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. This court is adjourned. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Andrew Finkelstein has to say. A picture is worth a thousand words. The picture in this case was worth almost $100,000. The young plaintiff dreamed about her quinceanera since she was a little girl, but that was shattered when she broke her ankle. The photo of her in her beautiful dress wearing a boot fully captured the physical and emotional suffering from her fall. The lesson for us all, take lots of photos of your injuries and your recovery.